Talking about shopping safety, Margie, this time of year, something you know all about. Thieves will also be shopping this Black Friday, followed by Cyber Monday. Scott Schaefer is our cyber safety guru, and he joins us about some things we could begin with. Uh, Scott, welcome. Welcome. Avoid that Wi-Fi, you always say. That's the thing. If you're out in public, uh, you connect to the Wi-Fi. Maybe you're going to buy a few gifts while you're in line somewhere else. Great. Just don't use public Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi that you connect to and it doesn't ask for a password, don't use that. You're much safer just using your own uh, cellular mobile plan. And the data plan's there. It's really well encrypted. You don't have to worry about it. So don't connect to those open Wi-Fi points. All right. Keep your computer security software up to date. As always. And that's something we should we talk about all the time. It's something you have to do, especially this time of year, because the bad guys know we have money in our pockets and we're looking to spend it. And they would like some too, because remember, all these guys, all they really are thieves, and that's what they're after. So look out for that. They look for that outdated software. And, you, yeah. and once you, you, t you bring this up, and we should because it's a big one, mm -hmm. as far as your passwords. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the thing with passwords. You always want to make sure you use one password for one site. Don't ever reuse a password for these different sites, right? That's a good way to get in trouble because if one of the sites get, gets broken into, then not only that site compromised, but all those other ones that you use that, that credential with. It could be too. So you, the way you want to do it is use a password manager. That's the way to go. There's free ones, the ones that cost 50 bucks a year. I use one called LastPass, for example. And that makes sure that I only have one, the one password used on one site. It does that math for me and helps me out. And I have it on my phone if I ever need a password. I don't really need care what it is. It'll automatically place it into the, the forms, and I know I'm safe that way. Yeah, and buy from reputable retailers. I, yeah. My wife laughs at me because last year I saw this ad on the Internet. Guy pulling a big bag, it picked up all the leaves. It was like magic. Yeah. <laughs> it was too good to be true. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I got scammed. I got one of those, too, a yeah. while back. It was a, a watch that would beam down to your palm, and right. you could interface with it like that. <laughs> and I figured, okay, that's a scam, but it was worth 10 bucks just to see what was going on. But, yeah, you want to watch out. Though you, If you're using a... Um, a vendor that you've never used before, you never heard of before, and you have to buy something for them, you probably want to use maybe a virtual credit card if your credit card uh, provider offers that, and that you, that'll create a one-time use card that you can use there. Otherwise, definitely don't use your debit cards. That's a bad idea when right. buying online because you don't have the same protections as you do with a credit card. And don't keep your uh, credit card data at a retail yeah. website. That's the thing. And anytime your, your browser asks you, hey, do you want to store this credit card data when you enter it into a farm, just say no. It, your best bet is say no on those. If you need to store that, again, a password manager is a much more secure route to go. And, and most reputable dealers, they'll say, no, we, we don't use it. Yeah. You know, you have to put a new one in. Yeah, absolutely. That's I the way it works. So that's important. Yep. Anything else that you should be aware of? Well, you know, watch out for the phishing because it's all oh, yes. about phishing. People wanting to be able to uh, scam you. And so look out for emails, again, that seem too good to be true or something that, hey, you know, I've never bought anything with this vendor again. Or it comes back and say, you know, hey, this is your, uh, this is your uh, link to go see your shipping status for this item and so on. And really, it's a scam link. So there's all kinds of stuff going on, especially over the holiday season. So be extra vigilant as you're working there. All right. Scott Schaefer from Blade Technologies. Always a pleasure. Have a good Thanksgiving. You too. All right. Same to you, Margie and Ty. Thank you so much.